Hello and welcome back to the... I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you joined in this mess that I haven't done in a while. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, this is a book sack video series where I talk about books because I read what I read because <laughs> I haven't read in a while. <laughs> I'm reading now a book. Don't worry, I'm getting back on track. I've found my life. It's getting back together. It was not. Today, <laughs> we are going the realm of difference. <laughs> this is so weird. I, I don't know how to explain it because this literally will make me either look good, questionable or bad. And I think it's going to be questionable area with the bad sprinkled in it. Okay, this is like guilty pleasure read. So today we will look at my guilty pleasure reads, <laughs> specifically one, because that's the one I own and I mostly talk about books that I do own so that I can like sh show them up. I believe last book snack video we talked about Good Almond by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Amazing, I remember that. And since then I haven't posted anything. Just for clarification, I filmed like this and the next thing I'm going to talk about in June, thinking, or before June, thinking that it's gonna be for Pride Month. <laughs> At this point I can wait for next Pride Month, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> not gonna happen. And, because life happened, I didn't post them. Didn't edit them, post them, anything. So, you're getting them now. A bit late, now I'm ready, more together, <laughs> more sadness in me. Sick also on top of that, because why not? I shall give you a little lesson <laughs> before we start talking about this book because you might be confused. I'm just gonna drag you in this world and you'll be like, too much information. Exactly. That's why we're gonna go through it. First of all, manga. No, from, sounds familiar? No, cool. Japanese comic style books that are read from the wrong side. <laughs> I'm saying the wrong side because people here are not used to it. Here, meaning everywhere except Asia. So that's basically Japanese style comic style books or something that's supposed to be magazines. Depends, depends. But usually they become books if they're really popular. We love that. And the other term we'll look at is yaoi. Yaoi? Yaoi. Yaoi. <laughs> IDK, I have no clue how to pronounce. Yaoi is a term used in manga, manhwa, mostly manga, I think. Well, basically talking about the Asian style comics. So Yaoi is two guys not being bros. <laughs> two guys being more than bros, I'll say that much. And relatively to that, if there are two guys or two girls, that's Yuri, but there's much less, I believe, stuff on Yuri than there's on Yaoi, because Yaoi has its own cult following. I might be one of them. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> why it's a guilty pleasure read? Oh. Yeah, that's why, because it's Yaoi. So, not all Yaoi is bad, but mostly it involves topics that... not topics. Mostly it involves stuff that's not okay. You get in jail for that, so you do not do that. I hope you understand that. That's just fantasy. That's just fantasy world. We don't take it seriously. If you want to live by that, there's something wrong with you. <clears throat> I think I mumbled enough, embarrassed myself enough already. I hope you understood. If not, Google it. Let your eyes be amazed by <laughs> the world that's opening up in front of you. We're not going to talk about the weird ones, but this is a weird one too. Not in a way that it's like, I don't know how we got there. I don't know how we got there, but it just involves themes I don't think you should possibly do. As if I'm giving a warning, this is not healthy. Man, if this is your relationship, run. You need help? Blink twice. Okay, and the one we're talking about is today is a manga that has six volumes. It's made by Rikito Takarai. Probably mispronounced that name also, but that's the writer. And uh, yeah, it's Tank Out. It has six volumes. 
and I owned all of them. That was the this is the first manga I ever owned. I made questionable decisions. This was one of them. Not mad. So ten count. So I'm gonna read them, talk a bit about it. Cause I my memory is hazy. I haven't read this for a half year, so <laughs> pops props to me. And I'm gonna probably stack them here so you can just look at the half-naked men throughout these and look really questionable uh, situations they are in. All the ten count mangas were written throughout different years. I believe it started 2015 and ended in 2018. Might be very wrong with my years. It takes time to make these because it's all drawn, as you may see. It's all drawn. This is the only part I can show you that doesn't have something interesting in it. First, volume one. Corporate secretary Shiratelli suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder. One day he meets Kurose, a therapist who offers to take him through a 10 step program to cure him of his compulsion. As the two go through each of the 10 steps, Shiratani's attraction to his counselor grows. Basically, the premise, hence its 10 count, is that uh, Shiratani, who is this guy, this guy, this pink haired guy, is Shiratani. He has the disorder, and so Kurose, who is this guy, well, we're gonna get to him eventually, uh, basically tells him to write a list of 10 things. One being the thing he can, could easily do, and 10 being the thing that he could absolutely not imagine doing again because of his compulsion. And so he starts to like to, like to touch a handle, to drink from the same cup, or to like eat in a restaurant. He has a hard time with that. Then, of course, he leaves He leaves empty because we want some drama and spice and it would be too easy if he knew what's happening. Chris would be like, Papa, pa, see you later. So, I might have just spoiled it. <laughs> Did I mention it's gonna have spoilers? No, it's kind of spoilers. I'm dumb, thank you. The IDK where the shirt that he's dressed to Chris Tronsolo grows, not in the first one really, but later on because we might have some problems there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of how it goes. They write the tents, they, he forces him to do the tents, and he cannot do the tents, so he lies. Hence, we go to the second book. So, Shiratani and Kurose met randomly on the street, I believe Kurose yeet uh, Shiratani's boss, CEO, someone, uh, with a bike, and they get hurt, so they went to the hospital, and Kurose noticed that he has the disorder. Long story short, I forgot about that. Let's move to number two. Abs. Uh, Shirotani begins opening his heart to Kurose until the counselor suddenly tells him that their sessions are over. Shocked, Shirotani withdraws into his home, refusing to leave. And out of the blue, Kurose texts him and asks, him, asks to see him. What will Shiratani do when he finds out the secret Kurose has been hiding from him this entire time? How Kurose finds out what happened to Shiratani is because Shiratani's friend, friend told him about. They met again. They asked, can you tell me like your secret? Like, why are you helping me out? So basically asking him to tell him why are you helping me out? They do not answer that question. I think he might have lied in one of these. <laughs> I, it's hazy. That he just likes him. Uh, in this book, also Kurose starts abusing Shirtani in a way that's not like punch, throw, fit or something, but in the way that sexually harassment, sexual abuse. So sexually touching him without Shirtani's really consent. I'd say that's not a consent if he says no. He loudly says no, quite clearly also. No is a no. There's no 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 equals no. We forget about this. <laughs> That's a common theme throughout a lot of yaoi. When I say no, you, you want it. No, you don't. No, you don't. We do not like that, but here we are. <laughs> I own all six volumes. <laughs> also, in this one, uh, Kurose does something suspicious that she doesn't sure like. Not counting the sexual stuff, he might have touched his head. Where I'm going with that? future. Number three. While out of the town with Kurose, Shiratani daydreams about the younger man kissing him. 
His desire quickly overcomes his phobia of human touch, and he gives himself over to his consular's hands for relief. Watch as the relationship between the corporate secretary and his consular continue continues to boil over in the story of love and therapy. We need therapy after reading this, actually. Yeah, first one didn't have anything sexual, the rest have sexual stuff, so I'm not even gonna touch that. But in the, the kiss, the meaning of the kiss, daydreams about kissing, not really how you think about gay, you're just sitting there, <laughs> you're just sitting there thinking about like, like a person you like, and you're like, oh, I wish that would kiss me. No, not that kind of way. So basically what happened was, sure, then he felt sick, so Kurose got to his house, one of the things he doesn't like, and basically took care and everything and gave him like candy, but like he was going like close, you know, like those leaning kisses. And so Shirtani thought he, of course, is gonna kiss him, but he put candy in his mouth. That was it. And then we had sexual stuff later. These mangas literally have no plot except sex. At the mercy of Kurosa's hands and words, Shiratani finally hears the full reason Kurosa fell in love with him. The truth is such a surprise that Shiratani runs away from him in shock, and it isn't long before his body starts aching for Kurosa's touch, causing Shiratani to soothe his own desire. But in doing so, he scares off memories of the traumatic event at the core of his compulsion. I got the jazz. So, in this part, we found Kurosa lies. This is the part he lies, that he, like, loves him. But he kind of tells the truth because he says he loves the germaphobe in him, which is messed up in its own way. If that's your king, get some help. This is not a healthy king. Get your help if you think sick person is your king. Not okay. And uh, basically, what happens is he tells that to Shiratani. He's like, oh, So I'm gonna lose my sickness, you're not gonna like me. But we'll think about it. We'll get eventually why he likes germophobia as a uh, is his king. It, it's weird. It's it's weird, man. And uh, so yeah, yeah. So he kind of is like nah. But basically, why Shiratani has this compulsion though? So let's talk about that. So he was a kid. He saw his dad and some random student, a bitch, have sex, and he got hard. He did the, did the jazz. And he was called disgusting by that chick we do not like. And so his dad was really close with him. And so he didn't like, like being with his dad, which is messed up. He didn't really like being with his dad and everything. And so basically dad, we found out the 10th thing in this, I believe, is that his dad constantly touched his head like patted his head so that was like the 10th thing in his list because he couldn't get pats anymore because his dad did that to him and so yeah we never see his dad ever again so that's pretty fire is this toho syndrome <laughs> number five we're getting till the end good seeing kurosa for the first time in two months shirokani takes a big step forward in their relationship and his treatment by kissing kurosa's hand when asked then, after Kurosa fails to invite him home, Shiratani chases after him. Could this new, more impulsive side of Shiratani signal a new phase in their... Chumu... <laughs> in their relationship. And now I'm gonna try to pronounce that word. Tumultus. Tumultos? Tumultos. Okay, 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 okay. So this is the sex part. <laughs> They had sex, yay, for fifth volume, woo! Uh, so, this is so messed up. Uh, next week we'll have something more chill. So, cool, they had sex, fire, and we found out, finally, what, why Kurose has obsession with germophobia. So basically, when he was a kid, he knew an author who was germaphobe, and he kind of tapped the old guy. <laughs> That's weird. Not okay. So Kuras is the one messed up here in this story. I love that. Tops being absolute shit. Woo! Yowie. Just, just the fact that, oh, this says something about me, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we learned that. Yeah, that he kind of, the author, the author disappeared. So Kuras was like, <laughs> broken heart. And yeah, that's it.
that's that, that's this volume. This is some weird setup here. And now the last part where my sanity still stands. <laughs> so, Shiratani and Kurose continue to grow ever closer as a couple. One day while out on a date with Kurose, Shiratani runs into Ueda, the woman responsible for triggering his germophobia. The encounter causes emotion Shiratani has long buried to surface. Will this be the catalyst that drives Shiratani to once and for all alum number 10 on his list? Long story short, Ueda is the chick that Shiratani's father had sex with. Just to get it clear. They met, and I believe she had eyes on Kurose, because Kurose is hot. Messed up in head, but hot. Basically, Shiratani is like, that's kind of my man. He drank a cup and eat it out and uh Chris was like I don't like a, I don't like a girl who opens her legs to the opportunity so that's 10 out of 10 response love that and then he ran after Shuratani they finally kissed yes you heard it right they had sex and anything sexual before they kissed whatever floats your boat I guess they chill chill toot toot together probably have sex again most likely and then Kurosu finally pats Shuratani's head, which is a win-win because we finally found out that exactly was the 10th thing. Amazing thing for German folks, sex on the day, cool. I hope no one, I'm saying this, no one will watch this, but I'm so sorry for the people who have to watch me talk about this. And basically how it ends is that uh, the list is now done, but he's of course not healed because how would he? He has now more trauma that he doesn't even realize, but he's messed up now. And uh, basically, they're like, hmm, we don't want this to end. As if you're not dating. If you're not dating, what is this? What is this? Okay. As if they're not dating, uh, they're like, let's make another list. And on this list, uh, Shirtley has to write what? 10 things Kurose, he wants Kurose to do to him. Good therapist would be number one, probably. That's kind of how it ends. And that's kind of where my <laughs> sanity ends. I don't specifically advertise it. I do. So until you speak about it loudly, it sounds fire. It's really fun to read. It's really interesting. And then you start actually explaining it and you, and you start noticing that you have lost your mind, which is the case here. Uh, but the good thing about this is there's not much mangas about like germophobia and OCD, which is great. That's the good part of this. But will a OCD germaphobe person uh, agree to this? No. No. This is wrong. This is... You need therapy. Shiratani. And then there was the little video thing actually for this release. I'll be honest. I was so ready for like a full length six episode anime. Like one manga each episode. Easily can be done. Very questionable. But... <laughs> I or something the way Jiyama has a lot of parts or at least like really good like OVA like at least one or two <sighs> what we got was six minute little episode of a nonsense which is like a little cute moment between that which is funny I just didn't get it because it's not even a manga so I was a bit <laughs> quite disappointed and it's not has it, it doesn't have its own thing it's in a thing called Six Lovers, which has like six different mangas having little episodes, which are like six minutes. I will not tell you which mangas we're also in, but this was one of them. This was episode four. And uh, yeah, I read all of them probably, most likely. I just don't remember the names. I remember the one was something school president, but <laughs> that's it. And yeah, that was kind of disappointing. So if you want something cutesy, popsy, and this sounded too harsh for you, watch that. <laughs> it doesn't have everything. It's been on my shelf. And I'm so hoping no one who has not seen anything like that in their life opens it. And it's like, so why do you have this? It's like, it's like keeping adult videos on the shelf, honestly. Like, straight out. Look, I like this. <laughs> For yaoi lovers who can accept that this is weird, read it. For those who have never read manga, don't read it. <laughs> but there's some better mangas to read that doesn't have sex every moment. 
and that doesn't really hurt people who have some kind of trauma and disorders but as a for yaoi in general like getting into yaoi this is a good manga i'd say like it takes everything slowly yet fast that you like as i said first first volume literally has no sex in it so you can kind of get used to the characters you just get to the reading and everything and then as you move on you just kind of get attacked <laughs> i think some parts i gave like five out of five stories on goodreads some i gave like two out of five maybe i gave some one out of five because there are some messed up parts <laughs> some are good some are messed up but yeah uh please do not think that this is all i read i do read normal literature too this is a guilty pleasure my late like late, late evenings when i'm bored I find these to read. I know a lot of shady sites to read these on. That was Stinkhound by Rikito Takarai. So if you like this, read it. So if you like this video, <laughs> please like it. Please comment something nice in it. If talk about, have you read it? Do you want to read it? Tell me something. Let's have fun. I have not done these videos in a while and I do apologize. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I love you and I hope you're having a great time. Please don't get sick because not the best feeling in the world. And yeah. <laughs> See ya.